by His Excellency to allow for everybody to have a clear view. As informed you by you, and as promised to you, we have a full policy when we assign the district to the book, and Parliament is just about to commence. And the just government of humanity. We in this issue. <laughs> Constitution of the Republic of Uganda, 012, indicated to the Speaker of Parliament. During this significant event, government for the next financial year of his constitutional obligation under Article 15 has appropriately adopted its rules of proceedings, supplementary budgets, and appropriation. Parliament approved the ministerial process statements for their dedication through the budget process. In ensure budget, I would like to highlight very salient issues. Madam Speaker, in March 2024, Uganda met the requirements to graduate from the category of least development countries. Uganda also moved from the category of low human development to medium human development. This is the result of a consistent improvement in health, education, economy, and a decent standard of living. This is a big milestone achieved way before the country starts earning from oil exports. When oil and the gas start to flow in, 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 in the year 2526, with the deliberate value addition to our raw materials, and productive utilization of PDM and other wealth creation initiatives, attaining of prosperity for all and a social economic growth will be faster. This is by Ugandans living and working abroad increased to US dollars 1.3 to 3.0 percent, the A new funds have created three million jobs. A total of 23 trade, services, and industries. These are funded interventions. Notable among these are SD 500 billion. Why am I sure of this? It is because much of our economy today is comprised of raw materials that are in a value nominally 10% of the value of the final products. By adding value to coffee, maize, forest products, minerals, etc., our, our economy will grow exponentially. You have seen the exports in this year. They grew by 38%. You saw the figure there, which the minister was showing you. E exports, export earnings in one year from four billion dollars to seven billion dollars. Rate of growth 38 percent. Because we are just underutilizing everything. This is the problem. Uganda importing furniture. You can imagine that 